Shouldn't we have like a funny way to start it before I cut to the trailer? What if the funny comes natural? <laughs> First man to walk on the moon. That'd be something. Are you sure? Yeah. Be an inventor. Welcome to This Time with Daniel Chabaz. We just got back from watching First Man. Yeah. Directed by Damon Chazelle. Yep. You'll know him from Whiplash, La La Land, one of the youngest directors to win an Oscar for Best Directing. Yeah, and he's probably, like, Whiplash, going back to Whiplash in 2014, that was my favorite movie that year. Yeah. It is a movie that still sticks with me to mm -hmm. this day. Mm -hmm. Same with La La Land. It's a beautiful, beautiful film. So fast forward to 2018, he's doing his, this is a huge branch off for him. Big, big departure from the musical genre. He's now jumping into the biopic. Yeah. Area. So what's this movie about? So this movie's about Neil Armstrong and the first man on the moon. However you want to take that. So uh, this, I love they take it. <laughs> there's a lot of people out there like, oh, he didn't land on the moon. He landed on a green screen. Uh, I mean, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. This movie had great effects though. It did. Yeah. It did. Um, so the film basically centers around, I want to say his his struggle. Okay. To get to the moon. Sure. Um, and it's it's more of the internal anxiety and the loss of people in his life, I think, that we really see that occurs. Now, the where this movie kind of troubles around is its pacing. Yeah, this movie's long. This like this movie's two hours and twenty minutes, and usually a sign for Shay and I when we're watching movies is when we check the time. I asked you, I'm like, Shay, what time is it? And they're like, it's only been an hour. I'm like, it hasn't started yet. <laughs> No, but this this movie, the pacing, like you definitely feel it, and it starts pretty early on in the '60s. And as we know, the moon they the moon landing happened in 1969, so we have about seven or eight years leading up to it, and you really feel it. Feel it. There's a lot of different things they tackle in this film, dealing yeah. with Neil's daughter's death to a lot of his friends dying along the way, yeah. and it just maybe wasn't necessary for what they were trying to show. And I think the point of maybe what it is about, about landing on the moon, maybe got overshadowed by some things that I wasn't sure where they were trying to show. Yeah, this, this movie feels a lot more like it's a drama. Mm -hmm. uh, I really liked Claire Foy's character yeah. as his wife, but I don't feel like she was given enough to do in this movie either. Yeah. Um, and I think we've been spoiled, I was telling you this before, I think we've been spoiled by really great space movies like Gravity, The Martian, Interstellar, so many. So when you go into a movie that's really grounded in history, you really you I feel you like miss that, those. you miss you miss that I guess intense yeah. feeling that yeah. those films kind of I wanted I wanted that moon landing sequence. I wanted to be able to turn to you or whoever was sitting beside me to be like, <laughs> "Hello, sir." Whew. And that's kind of where this film falters with. There's there's just a lot of moments of, of quiet and a lot of weird music choices, yeah. uh, shots that are taking place and the worst part about it is that you wanted to see Ryan Gosling really act it out, but I feel like he was given maybe 30 lines in this film and just yeah. told to look at the camera. Yeah, there's the movie itself, like, aside from Gosling himself, there's not a lot of dialogue going on, so you're really relying on just the, the ambience of the, the film. The ambience and the imagery that's been given to you, which looks beautiful, and they went for this really cool documentary look, but that when you're. Give it a second, I'm gonna cut to it. Okay. <laughs> Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> when you're... <laughs> but when you're talking about landing on the moon for the first time, you would feel that there would be more of a joyous and cathartic release watching it. You're really hoping that those last 10 minutes of the film where he lands on the moon, yeah. um, it all kind of comes together. But you know, oh, the, the, moon the moon literally moon. just turned on. We actually, special guests, we have the moon here today yeah, the, a, to talk about its experience. It's the biggest actor we've had in this film. Yeah. It just, it really, it, you really feel the burn. And I think Damien Chazelle this time really wanted to branch out. Mm. And he missed a couple marks. He went maybe a bit too far out. And then still tried to incorporate his musical background into this film, which right. I don't think the two paths really crossed. Yeah, and it didn't, it didn't feel like his, this, it didn't feel like his It didn't movie. feel like his branding. You know yeah. I mean? It felt like he was trying so hard to do something different that... His identity, his identity was lost in this. Do you think we're gonna see this movie uh, come Oscar time for anything? You know that I, I was thinking about that, and I, I could see this movie getting nominated in some categories, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was snubbed. I wouldn't well be surprised too. either. Yeah. yeah, this is a movie that we were thinking about a lot. I guess leading up to it, because why wouldn't we? It's mm -hmm. one of the best directors working today. It's Ryan Gosling, right? 
Uh, I don't know why. He's in space right now, that's why. <laughs> He's on the moon. Um, it just felt like it was... Flatlining. Flatlining throughout. Yeah. So, what would you get this film? I don't think this is a bad movie. No. I don't, and I think this this reminds me of a movie that I probably would have watched in high school in one of my classes, classes yeah. right? So, if we had to give this movie a rating, what would you give it, Trey? I'd say... It's watch a watch it. at home. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you whisper? I don't know. Watch it home. Shh. Watch, watch it at home. home. <laughs> Can't that do was, it. That was this time. <laughs> we'll maybe see you next. What is a moon moving? <laughs> uh, we, so much has happened. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I have my uh, toothpick in? Because he was playing his character from Drive. I'm on space. <laughs> <laughs> There's no line like that in the movies, though. I, I, I'm walking on the moon. I,